So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll quickly tell you about Unearth from Brotherwise Games, a game that combines dice allocation and set collection, where each player is controlling a tribe of delvers that they are sending out to dig up old ancient ruins and unearth lost wonders. And that's the nature of this game. The way it works is on your turn, you'll first play any of these special delver cards that will adjust dice that are out or how your dice are going to roll and then you'll pick a dice you'll roll it onto a ruin you'll pick ahead of time what ruin you're rolling it on and it then goes on there when the ruin is filled up meaning that there is a number of dice value equal to the number of on the ruin it will then pop whoever has the highest value dice on that ruin will get the ruin and you're collecting sets of the different colors of the ruins as well as getting a set that is all the different colors and at the end of the game you'll score points for that but you'll also score points for wonders and you get wonders using stones you get stones by rolling between one and three on a dice so if you roll low you're less likely to get the ruin but you're more likely to get the stones which you can then use to get a wonder and the wonder you'll get will depend on the color of stones and also the wonders are randomized each game giving a huge amount of replay value and variation to the game as well as the fact that some of the ruins are removed and randomized and on top of that you also have an end of age card that you get to once you've gone through all the ruins and this is randomized so there's a lot of randomized elements with regards to setup giving extremely good replay value as well as then having randomization in the actual gameplay with regards to the dice rolls but that doesn't mean that this is a hugely random game because every bit of randomness in this game then has mitigation with the dice rolls if you roll low you get stones if you roll high you get to take a ruin probably but you also have different value dice so yes you can only get a certain value on a dice but you're picking which dice you're going to roll for which ruin and thereby you're able to mitigate or at least play the chances of what you're likely to get you can use your d4 to increase your chances of getting stones your d8 to increase the chances of getting the ruin with regards to the cards you can then use your delver cards you can pick up special powers from wonders or just go straight after points there is multiple paths to victory in this in a tight little package that is easy to play easy to understand and easy to teach there's so much much to enjoy it is a very light game it's not a heavy game it's not a hugely strategical game and I do think that it's a game that most people will enjoy but if you're looking for you know pure strategy with no luck whatsoever you probably this isn't gonna be the game for you but as I say most of the luck and randomness there is in this is mitigated and it is simple and easy to learn with regards to player numbers it scales very nicely it works really well for all the different players they'll see at four players there's a lot more competition over the ruins at two players although you do remove a ruin there's much less of that competition which can mean that dice stay on there for much longer but I enjoy it at all the different player counts I think this is a lovely fantastic game the components and art are lovely you've got the dice that are this marbly effect and the artwork is all very nice the different colors of ruins also have different designs on them so you're fine for color blindness as do the different stones so yeah unearthed by brotherwise games fantastic game i highly recommend you check it out and that's my thoughts so i do hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have please do check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing and sharing and as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.